the way. We about to go watch Captain Marvel. And this shit about to go down. 10, 10. We on the way. We're headed. Let's go. Yo, what's going down, man? It's your boy Cheddar Dog, and we holding it down here in Cheddarverse. Uh, I just got out the movies, man. I know, I saw Alita last time, but this time, I saw the origin story of Carol Danvers. That's right, it's Captain Marvel. Saw it in IMAX. I don't know if you're gonna see that. I saw it. I got it. Um, I'm gonna give you my opinion. I'm gonna tell you how I thought about the movie. I'm gonna try to keep the spoiler stuff to a very minimum. I'll kind of do my own little like spoiler area and I'll put like a black screen and say spoiler. So I'll keep it for the end. Um, and then those that want to see it uh, can just skip over to that part. Uh, I'll talk about the post credit scene and all that. Um, but we'll talk about, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. What I thought about um, Captain Marvel. She, it's a basic story. I mean, she wakes up, she has amnesia. She doesn't really know where she belongs. She just feels kind of lost. Her memories start to come back and things start happening and she starts to get it all and then by the time at the very end that she's just I'm here I'm ready it, it was better than most of the origin stories they started off right you had your team and they were all cool and they made little cool like little one-liner jokes and it was pretty cool like it wasn't too in your face so that wasn't that was nice it's a little awkward though um there was few moments i noticed this uh and i don't know if this was like intentional or or, or whatnot but uh, the actress that plays captain marvel they would have her stand like posing but like in a like a really awkward way it was like very noticeable she stands there it would be like she perks her chest and her back's arched and she's just kind of like, mm -hmm. and look at her legs when she does that. One of her legs is like forward, but one's like back. And it just felt like really goofy and dorky on her. And I noticed it and it just, it just kind of bothered me a little, just a little bit. Um, that was just a little bit. So I was one of the negatives that I didn't like. Not to say that she didn't play the character well. She did. She did play the character well. I thought she was pretty cool. Her one-liners, her delivery, needs some work. You need to step your, like, one-liner game up. If you're coming in the end game, and these cats got one-liners down to a pack, and it's like, yo, you want, you with the top cats, you know what I'm saying? You with Robert Downey, you, you got all these cats doing their, like, one-liners and, like, funny moments. Yo, girl, you gotta step it up. Just a tad, just a tad. You'll be okay. The scrolls were, like, the baddies. Um... And I, and I don't want to go into spoilers or anything like that, but you really do feel for them. You know, them shape-shifting, which was really fucking cool. They did a really good job with that. So there was one scene, right, is like right when like, when Nick Fury was kind of like engaging the aliens for the first time. And Nick Fury's kind of like, hmm. And then he's like, oh yeah, but we did this, remember? Remember when we did this? And he's like, and Nick Fury's kind of like, oh shit. This ain't right. Like, something don't seem right. Like, that was cool, the way they fucking did that. Now, as far as the CGI goes, it was really good, but there are some parts when it wasn't necessary, and they had the CGI there. It was a little, it was a little noticeable. I and mean, of course, you're in space, you got all these, like, alien ships and shit, you can only do so much. As far as the movie goes, it was a decent movie, it was a decent watch. I didn't think it was gonna blow my mind. I just thought, hey, I'd watch it. It's gonna be like a decent movie. It was a decent movie. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. The fighting choreograph was okay, uh, especially in the standard that they have now. You know, they're jumping and beating and fighting and Black Widow's over here spinning on motherfuckers' necks and like the bar is up here now, right? So you have to really step it up and it felt really low. I gotta say it's really low on the bar. I don't think they handled it as good as they could have, um, especially with her powers. I mean, they did have some pretty, okay moment i mean as far as like the movie goes it was okay it was better than i expected i did not think i was gonna like it i went in there clean slate didn't really judge i just kind of went for it as it is uh it had an emotional side to it which was nice um not so much her side not her origin story but definitely gonna be in the in the scroll side and i'll get into that into more spoiler um areas all right so if i had to like rate it let's just go ahead and sit it at a six i'm gonna go ahead and sit it at a six because i feel like that's fair it wasn't like great it wasn't bad it was just in the middle for the most part overall um whether it be like for the fighting pacing acting uh, you know all of it kind of combined at all together i'm definitely gonna sit it at a six and that's a six that's gonna leave that for okay it's gonna be it's gonna be a decent it's gonna be okay six that seems fair we'll go with six we'll do that um and we'll keep it at that. This man, Captain Marvel, guys, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's actually out today um, on Friday. This is your boy, Shadow Dog. We're going to go ahead and do the spoiler part because that is what's going to be the best part. That's what y'all waiting for. All right, y'all. So if you guys are still here, probably because you want to watch the spoilery part. I'm going to give you like count of three. 
five, ten, three. Okay, we're gonna start right now. Uh, the emotional side, right? The emotional side of the movie, um, it didn't come so much from her origin story. I actually thought that was rather bland. Now, the emotional side that I was referring to, now that's gonna be on the scroll side. The bad guys, right? The bad guys. The whole time in the beginning of the movie, we're fighting the scrolls, right? The shapeshifters. Now, you're fighting the scrolls, and then all of a sudden, it shifts in the movie, and it ends up going to the emotional side on them. It turns out that they're not the bad guys that we've been fighting this whole time. No, it's the fucking Kree, the ones that uh, that um, that Carol that she's been fighting alongside of. They're just trying to survive, and and here comes the Kree with these like awesome abilities in, in this war and destroying them, and they have them like enslaved, and you just feel like more, um, you feel a little bit more uh, like emotional ties to that. You have like the scrolls, and 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 there's one scene, the main scroll guy, the guy that's been you know this whole time, he sees his wife. And his and his child for the first time after they've been enslaved by the by the Kree, you really feel that emotional bond there. And like, oh, you know, we were trying to like contact you, but we're not allowed to because then the Kree would have found us and they would kill us. Like, no, you did the right thing. Like all this time, he sees his child for the first time, and like he does the same thing he does to the mom that he puts his like head on the on the child and like they have like this a bond connection and the whole time i thought like the scrolls were going to be the bad guys like this whole time and then next thing you know they did this like little um like the shift and that was i thought they executed that really really well i thought that was a lot better than the origin story that I, you know the emotional amnesia feel sorry for me deal that they were pushing towards you and i didn't like that so i thought this was a lot better um as far as post credit scene this is the big one, right? Um, this is the big one that everybody was waiting for. It starts off with, um, it starts present day, right? It's present day, it is probably, it probably is like within hours, maybe even fucking like, like a day, maybe even a couple days, like two days after the events of Infinity War. Uh, it shows Black Widow and Captain America looking at a screen, like, like you know, it's built in the laboratory. Um, it's got all the screen up. It's showing the casualties. It literally shows a counter, and it just shows like two arrows, and it just shows like a big number, and they're just watching it, and they're like looking, and it looks almost like shot for shot looks like it would be part of Endgame. Like it looks filmed by the Russo brothers. Like it legit, it seems like a piece of that movie. They just kind of threw it in here. It shows Banner, of course, the Incredible Hulk. He turns around and he's like, how much are we at? Like, what are we, you know, what's going on? And it shows um, Banner, I think he's like looking at the, um, the pager that was in Infinity War that called um, Captain Marvel at the very, very end at the post credit scenes. He's looking at the pager and then he turns around and he says, yo, Cap, uh, like this shit stopped beating, right? So he's like, this stops, this stopped blinking. Like, who is it calling? And so Black Widow's like, I want to know who is like at the very end of that thing. Like, I want to know who that shit is paging, right? It's got to be somebody important, but we don't know who. Black Widow turns around and then there she is like standing there and she's like, where's Fury? And when she says that line, it completely goes black. And that's like when the credits roll, it ends. So I assume like that's going to be like the very beginning of the movie. I'm going to assume that's like probably about 15 minutes into what like to the end game, which is the new Avengers movie shit is about to go down and now i really hope that in endgame they don't have her just come down whoop thanos ass and call it a day like i hope she's not the only one putting in like the work like i want to see all of the heroes like no motherfucker like we've had all these heroes doing the work yes like infinity war had its moments and everybody was working as a team but like i still want to see that going into this movie like don't give me three hours of her just putting in the work and that's it like no i want to see like I don't want her to be a last resort Superman type deal. Like, no, like I want to see everybody getting down. If everybody's getting down, I'm more than pleased. That is perfect. Do the whole cliche, like save everybody, bring everybody back from the dead, whatever. Whoop de whoop. As long as it's just not her doing all of the damage. That's all I ask. Skip the scene, goes to the next one. Brrr. Um, So it shows Goose, which is Goose is the cat. And so Goose, uh, he ends up jumping on the table, right? It's Nick Fury's desk, his brand new desk and everything. It's all clean, it's all nice and shit. And next thing you know, you see him. And I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, is he about to like cough it up? Like cough up a hairball? And he just starts going, 
<laughs> like a cat, like a, like a normal cat. And so you're like, oh shit, because he's in the movie, he swallows the tesseract and he eats it for himself. So he's hiding the fucking tesseract in his stomach, um, one of the infinity stones. And then next thing you know, he just like coughs up like a hairball, but it ends up being the tesseract and it lands on Nick Fury's desk. And then, uh, yeah, it just ends right there. Um, and it was a really funny one. Uh, that was a really good one. It was, it was cute. It was just, it was funny to see. Yeah. That's Captain Marvel, man. Hope you liked the review. Let me know what you thought about it. If you got, if you already seen it, if you plan to see it, whatever, just please, yeah, let me know, man. So, uh, like, subscribe, get with me. Uh, this is your boy Cheddar Dog, and we out.